I'm Anil Kumar. Here is another thinking question on solving equations. The equations to solve is x square plus 6x plus 6 times x square plus 6x plus 8 equals to 528 where x belongs to complex numbers. Now some of you who have not done complex numbers can also solve it for x belongs to real numbers. Okay. Now let's begin to solve this. Now in such questions we have a new strategy. We know x square plus 6x is common but in case I could write 6 as 7 minus 1 and 8 as 7 plus 1 in that case see what happens. So this equation could not be written as x square plus 6 as instead of 6 I am writing this as 7 minus 1 and here we have x square plus 6x instead of 8, I am writing this as 7 plus 1, right? And the right side is 528. Now, as you can see, this term, let us say, is A and this is B for us, right? So, again, here we have A and this is B for us, right? So, you can think like we have A minus B times A plus B. Now, what is A minus B times A plus B? it is equals to a square minus b square, right? So that is the strategy. So we could write this as a square, which in our case is x square plus 6x plus 7 whole square, a square minus b square, b is 1, so minus 1 square equals to 528. Now we can bring this 1 square to the right side, so we get x square plus 6x plus 7 whole square equals to 528 plus 1 which is indeed 529. Let us square root. So you have x square plus 6x plus 7 equals to plus minus square root of 529. Now what is square root of 529? And use the calculator. Square root of 529 is equals to 23. So we can write this as plus minus 23, right? So, now we have two equations. One is x square plus 6x plus 7 equals to 23. The other one is x square plus 6x plus 7 equals to minus 23, right? So, these are quadratic equations. We can now solve them to find x. So, let's do this one first, which is x square plus 6x plus 7 minus 23 equals to 0 which is x square plus 6x, 7 minus 23 will be, let us do, 7 minus 23 equals to minus 16 equals to 0. And now we can factor this, right? Now in this case, we are looking for product of negative 16 and sum of plus 6. So 4 times 4 doesn't work, 8 times 2 uh, could work, 8, but both should be one positive, one negative, right? So in this case, 8 times 2 is working for us. So we could write this as x bigger number is positive, x plus 8, and here we get x minus 2, right? Equals to 0. Now this could be solved as x equals to minus 8, and here x equals to 2. That is a set of solution for us, correct? Now let's try to solve this one. We have x squared plus 6x plus 7 plus 23 equals to 0. x squared plus 6x plus, this is 30, right, equals to 0. Let's try to factor this. 30 is like 6 times 5, but that does not add to 6. And then we have 10 times 3 is 13, does not add. So we have no combination. Now to solve this, we can use the quadratic formula, right? So let me use quadratic formula which is x equals to minus p which is minus 6 plus minus square root of b square which is 36 minus 4 times uh, ac so minus 4 times 30 divided by 2 times a means 2 right so that is what we get. So this could be written as minus 6 plus minus. Now here 4 times 30 is 120 so we get some negative number in this case. So let me do uh, 36 minus 4 times 30 equals 2. So we get minus 84. 
So we have square root of minus 84 uh, divided by 2. Now square root of minus 84, if you are doing in, in the domain of real numbers, then there is no solution. But in the domain of complex numbers, we do have a solution, right? So square root of 84, think like this, uh, 4 times 21, which could be written as uh, minus 6 plus minus, we we'll write 2i, right? So that is a complex number whose square is minus 1, right? Square root of 21 divided by 2. So that gives us the solution in the domain of complex numbers. When you divide by 2, you get minus 3 plus minus i square root 21, right? So these are two additional roots, but these are complex roots. So this solution is for those who are doing in complex numbers, right? In case you're working in complex numbers, you have four solutions, minus 8, 2, and these conjugate complex roots. But in case you're working with real numbers, then you have two real solutions, right? So, but this is a technique of solving such questions. I hope you understand and appreciate the method, right? So we have our answer as minus 8, 2, and minus 3 plus minus i square root 21. So these there are four solutions when x belongs to complex numbers, correct? So that is how you could actually solve it. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.